the tractor's getting hot, especially if you do a lot of grass cutting, which is mainly what I use this thing for, um, it could be as simple as this grill's getting blocked. Now the idea is this comes out, um, so you can clean it basically, but it doesn't stop everything going through. So although you can take this out and it's it's really simple to sort of knock the dust out of it, I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I get this bolt out. There we go. Basically this slides out and the idea is this traps all the, the grass and fluff and whatever that could block the radiator, which is all well and good. But these don't stop everything. Hopefully you can see this, that's grass and fluff, whatever, that's got through the fine grills and embedded itself in the grill or in that radiator, cooler. There's a limit to how much these little grills can stop. So you still get a lot of dust going into the radiator. So the way to clean it out is ideally with water. Um, but I've made a couple of tools to make that a little bit easier so you can get in around the fan without dismantling too much. Uh, one works when it's cold and the other one you can use when it's hot. So if you want to keep going, you don't have to wait for it to cool down before you spray water over it. Uh, I'll show you how I made them and how we use them. So if we start with the, um, the hose pipe tool, uh, what this is, this is 10 mil microbore. Um, you find it in the UK, they use it on central heating. I'm really not a fan of this. We had loads of it here, ripped it all out obviously, hence why I've got loads of it left over, but it's quite handy for little projects like this. So we've got 10 mil microbore. Um, I think this is a twin wall pipe. Anyway, that's the pipe. I've got an adapter that takes it from 10 mil fitting. So that's the, the, the olive. There's a, the adapter that takes it from the 10 mil to the 15 mil. Because what we've got here is, uh, this is just a normal appliance valve, I call it. Um, basically something you'd have on your washing machine. It's got a handle on it, which is great. Uh, again, just another olive with a normal standard compression fitting that screws onto our adapter. All you've got to be wary of is when you've drilled your holes is how you want this thing to fit. If you want it to be on the right or on the left, depending on whether you're right-handed or if you're, you're left-handed. Um, there we go. And then we can just lock that in. So it's <laughs> it couldn't get much easier really. Just nip it up and we don't we don't need to I've already crushed these obviously I've pre-made this but we don't need it massively tight because it's not gonna be un, it's not, it's not gonna be under pressure because any pressure will be once we've opened this valve going straight out and through the jets. And that is as simple as we've then got a, a hose lock adapter. Just screws in, just makes connecting to the hose easier, but you could have a an old bit of hose pipe with a Jubilee clip or something like that if you have the right sort of fitting. But there we go, hose pipe in there, turn the valve, and then I've blocked the end off with a bolt and just drilled some holes. I've got three just to act as a jet. I've got them at slightly different angles so that it's got a bit of a better coverage. But other than that, it's as simple as that. Clip it onto your hose and you can stick that, get your radiator clean. On the end of both of these, basically to, to block it off, I've wound a, an M8 bolt. Um, it's a 13 mil hex head, but basically just wind that in, cut it off and then grind it, grind it smooth so it doesn't hit the fins of the radiator. And then when you set this up, you can then decide where you want to drill your, your holes. I've got, I'll say I've got three. But um, to get this into this pipe, what you can do is you can warm this up, stick it in some boiling water. Um, but I've found that on these, if you can get the thing started and then get a couple of turns in with a couple of turns in with the drill, friction creates your heat anyway. And then that's good enough. So now I can cut that off, smooth it over. Um, you could cut that off a little bit higher perhaps and then put a, a slot in it for a flat bladed screwdriver and then you could wind it right in just so that the metal's not proud of the, of the plastic. 
Um, I mean, this is still, like I say, it's still quite hard, but it's just to keep it away from the radiator grills. So this is the airline version. Um, on this one, I cheated big time. Basically, I got an old tire pressure gauge. Um, this one's a bit of a pain because it's got one of these, this thing sticks out rather than a gauge. Uh, and the end was, was a bit of a nightmare to use. Um, and it used to jam up quite a lot. However, I sacrificed this. And this is as simple as make the ends off again. Um, I've got four holes in this one, five, sorry, five holes, and they're two mil. I didn't want too big on it, a nice fast jet, quite high pressure. Um, bolts all rounded off in the end, and then just warm this up. And this is one was as simple as screw it back into the where the original, there was a pipe that come off of here, looks basically the same as this really. Screw it into there, keep going until it almost stops, and then don't go mad because this is only obviously this pipe's plastic you don't want to strip this thread but just get it until it it's fairly snug fit because you don't want it leaking it's not going to make much of a difference with this one i set the pipe first and then i put my holes in because this one i tend to use that way rather than this way so my holes are coming out to the right that's just because i'm right-handed it's it works easier for me but that's the air one it was really easy um if you can get an old tire pressure gauge that's it, you're laughing. And then you can you can use it for other things, obviously, but for getting the, the, the fluff and grass out of a hot radiator, this works really well. It's, um, yeah, quite, it works really nice. But let's take it outside. I'll take the other one out and show you how to use it. They're fairly self-explanatory. We're gonna stuff it down the radiator and get the fluff out, but um, I'll show you this one and I'll show you the, the host pipe one as well. So just like any other airline tool, Now, you could adapt one of these, um, which works all right, but obviously if you imagine if you just had this, trying to get in there was okay, but if you want to get in around the back behind the fan, it's a little bit of a, well, it's a lot difficult. This one's got a bit of brake pipe, just glued into the end, it's an old one. It's quite handy for carbs and things like that, because you can peen the end over, make it a little bit smaller. But again, you can get into some of these areas, but if you want to get right down behind the fan, it's a lot more tricky, or it's a lot trickier. So using this, basically we can get anywhere. Things, you know, long enough, plenty long enough. We can get right down in here, give it a good old squirt of air. So when it's hot, you're not getting any, near, your hands near any, anything hot. This is doing the work for you. We can get right into. Get right into areas that you, you normally wouldn't be able to. And obviously now the fans blades around the other way, it's even easier from this side. I can get right in across, right across the bottom and into the far corner with this shield still in place. So if this is hot, you can give it a quick blast. You're not gonna get it all out, but you can give it a quick blast to get you back, back on the job in hand. No messing around. So that's the uh, compressed air version. And with the hose version, the advantage of having one of these uh, appliance valves or washing machine valves is you can control the flow, bring it on gently. Because if you put it on full bore, you can see there's a little bit of give in there, but that's the beauty of this. The flexibility makes it a little bit easier. We can bend this pipe, get it into places that you can't normally easily access. And then it's a pretty good jet there. Get all the muck out. Now again, just like the air one, you can get it into the radiator just check where our, our holes are so we know we're squirting it in the right direction and literally pop it in behind the radiator and then we can start spurting it all out. Hopefully you can see that that's coming through. I'll try and get the camera a little bit closer and we can get right the way in, move the fan round. Just makes it a little bit easier to get to the bottom. Obviously some tractors are gonna be easier than others. This one's a little compact one so it's, there's not an awful lot of room to play with. But uh, I'll try and get you a close-up. So even with a garden hose, it's enough pressure to be squirting through the radiator and it's pushing the stuff back out the way it came. If yours is really bad, on mine I've got this plate here, a couple of bolts, this lifts off and then you can get the pipe right down between the air conditioning and the radiator. So if there's anything that's got right the way in, or built right up and there's a load of crud in there. You can get right down top and bottom 
all the way across, just work it down from the top and flush it all out. And then that'll increase the airflow through the radiator and hopefully have you running a little bit cooler. Um, and it's as simple as that, as simple as using the hose pipe or if it's hot, you can use the airline. So hopefully you like this sort of thing. Check out this video here, have a look at some of my other stuff. I'll see you on the next one.